We tag the red pouch. Yes, yes, I did. The final call of Finn Belden's shift was to a patient who needed urgent medical treatment. Rushing him to hospital probably saved his life. It's why Finn became a paramedic. Not sure we've got enough O2 left. But Finn says the unrelenting pressure and low pay have forced him to vote for a strike. Some days you'll come to shift and you'll be waiting at the hospitals for um, hours on end um, just to hand your patients over, even if the patients are very sick. There's physically nowhere to hand them over to. It's frustrating not being able to provide the care that we want to provide because we don't have the staff and the funding that we need. Finn is a member of the GMB, the latest health union, to vote for industrial action. Patient standards are suffering now, but that's not thanks to our members. That is a government that has deliberately chosen to underfund and under-resource the NHS over the last decade. Ambulance workers and paramedics will join call handlers, nurses, hospital porters and cleaners as they all prepare to strike. 100,000 nurses, 80,000 healthcare workers with other unions, and now 10,000 ambulance workers. That gives you an idea of the scale of the protest that is building against the government. And that's only in the healthcare sector, and it's only the beginning. University and college staff, postal workers, and rail workers are already on a list who are taking industrial action. With each ballot, comes more pressure for the government. I have nothing but admiration and gratitude to our nurses for all the work they do. But, but Mr Speaker, M M Mr. Speaker it, it is simply unreasonable and unaffordable to have a 19% pay rise. The country now braces itself for a difficult winter, one that looks like it will become increasingly harder and colder with every ballot cast. Ashish Joshi, Sky News, in Brighton.